We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, and special seasonal prayers. For your free copy, order online at heartofthenation.org or call us toll-free at 1-855-855-MASS or write to Heart of the Nation, Post Office Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53214. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. The Heart of the Nation Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please consider an offering today to support the Mass on TV and online. Thank you, and may God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Our Lord announces the kingdom and calls us to follow him into that kingdom. So as we begin to celebrate both here and at the homes of all of our viewers, let us first acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah, saying, Set out for the great city of Nineveh, and announce to it the message that I will tell you. So Jonah made ready and went to Nineveh, according to the Lord's bidding. Now Nineveh was an enormously large city. It took three days to go through it. Jonah began his journey through the city and had gone but a single day's walk, announcing 40 days more and Nivea shall be destroyed. When the people of Nivea believed God, they proclaimed a fast, and all of them, great and small, put on sackcloth. When God saw by their actions how they had turned from their evil way, he repented of the, e of the evil that he had threatened to do to them. He did not carry it out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I tell you, brothers and sisters, the time is running out. From now on, let those having wives act as not having them, those weeping as not weeping, those rejoicing as not rejoicing, those buying as not owning, those using the world as not using it fully. For the world in its present form is passing away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, come after me and I will make you fishers of men. Then they abandoned their nets and followed him. He walked along a little farther and saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in a boat mending their nets. Then he called them. And they left their father Zebedee in the boat, along with the hired men, and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the Gospel. Those three statements, boy, you could... You could write encyclopedia about, about those, three, those three statements. They are so full of meaning. The time of fulfillment. This is something great is, is about to happen. Um, God is going to do something and, uh, that God has never done before. And um, nothing as great as, uh, I mean, the only thing that would compare to it at that time would have been, would have been creation. Maybe freeing the, the Israelites from slavery in Egypt, maybe freeing them from Babylonia. Uh, but this time of fulfillment, that is the time of the Christ coming into the world, um, is, is, is bringing uh, to creation a climax. And you are lucky enough to be here to see it and to hear it. What is this climax? The kingdom of God, it is at hand. The kingdom of God is breaking in. The kingdom of God, you know, what can we say about that? Um, it's the fulfillment of, of God's plan for all of us. It, is, it marks at the same time, it marks the end of history as we know it. It marks the end of human history, but only to, to begin something that is even better. We hear Jesus talk about the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed. That's what it's like right now, a mustard seed. We, we barely can detect it, and many of us don't detect it at all. But one day, it is going to encompass everything. It is going to be the whole milieu, the whole, the whole paradigm in which, in which we live. We don't, we don't necessarily understand now how that's going to happen. But I have a sneaking belief that one day after the kingdom is fulfilled, we're going to see very clearly how it was present now, even as a mustard seed. And we're all going to say, oh, boy, why didn't it dawn on me then that the kingdom was, was present then, but is now, is now fulfilled? So what do we do in light of those truths? The time of fulfillment, the kingdom of God is at hand. Well, we have to repent. We have to change. We have to change our mind. We have to change, change our way of thinking. And um, there's an urgency to this that is reflected in what Jesus does next. He calls Peter and Andrew, James and John. And immediately, they drop everything and follow Jesus. It's a, it's a symbol of what repentance is. A change of mind that is, uh, in terms of the kingdom, immediate and complete. Leaving everything behind. Well, you know, it doesn't mean we, we literally turn our back on the people we love and, and that love us, but it means that from now on, we're going to see everything, even our loved ones, in terms of the kingdom. We need to, in order to be ready for it, we need to act as if we were already there, where uh, love is going to be uh, the most important thing, 
and where fulfillment will be ours. Jesus is calling you and me the same way he called Peter, Andrew, James, and John. Hopefully, we will be able to let everything else go and follow him because he will lead us into his kingdom. So let us profess our faith found in the Apostles' Creed on page 33 in your worship guide. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. There he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us now call out to our Father who hears our pleas and ask him for what we need. For the church, that we may take to heart that the kingdom of God is at hand and witness to the presence of Christ in our lives in the way that we live out the gospel he preached. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have chosen a life of ministry, of following in the footsteps of the first disciples and becoming fishers of other disciples, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our society, that we may protect the dignity of all human life from conception to natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, especially among our Heart of the Nation Parish family, may they receive care and comfort from loved ones and caregivers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they rejoice forever in the house of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs and prayers of all of our Heart of the Nation Parish members, including those joining us from the state of Wisconsin, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we thank you and ask you to hear these prayers, which we offer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray now, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through who Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, all of our bishops, the clergy, and all of your holy people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. So now let us share with each other a sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth to glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, and special seasonal prayers. For your free copy, order online at heartofthenation.org or call us toll-free at 1-855-855-MASS or write to Heart of the Nation, Post Office Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. Your privacy is important to us and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. The Heart of the Nation Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please consider an offering today to support the Mass on TV and online. Thank you and may God bless you.